we're going to combine the knowledge that we have gained about linear demand and supply equations in previous lessons to figure out how to determine the equilibrium price and quantity in a market using the equations for demand and supply. We're going to continue with the same example we used in our last video on linear supply equations. We're looking at the market for beef here. In a previous video we derived the supply equation for beef which we can see here. The quantity supplied of beef equals negative 40 plus 30 times the price. I've come up with a demand equation for beef that we can combine with the supply equation in order to determine equilibrium. The demand for beef can be represented by the equation 180 minus 25 times the price. Let's start by plotting our demand and supply curves on the graph. To do this, we must first determine the p-intercept of demand and the p-intercept of supply. The p-intercept of demand is found easily by setting quantity to zero and calculating the price at which quantity demanded equals zero. The price intercept of the demand curve is 7.2, which I'm going to go ahead and plot on my table over here. The q-intercept for demand is easily found because it is, in fact, the a variable in the demand equation. I know that my demand curve intercepts the quantity axis at 180, so I can put another point on my graph at a price of 0 and a quantity of 180. These two points allow me to draw my demand curve. Next let's draw the supply curve. Now we did this in a previous video but we'll go ahead and do it again now. To find the supply curve we must first find the p-intercept which I do by setting quantity supplied to 0. The supply curve begins at a price of $1.33. To draw the supply curve, all I need is a second point along my curve. So I can plug in any price and determine what quantity would be supplied at that price. I'll find out what the quantity supplied is at a price of 5. At a price of $5, 110 kilograms of beef will be supplied. With these two points along my supply curve, I can go ahead and plot the supply curve. I've now drawn both my demand curve and my supply curve for beef. Now it would be simple enough to estimate the equilibrium price by looking at the intersection of demand and supply, but we also need to be able to calculate equilibrium price and quantity using the equations themselves. So it looks from the graph as if the equilibrium price is going to be around $4 and the equilibrium quantity of beef will be around 80 kilograms. But just to prove that these estimates are correct, we're going to go ahead and show how to calculate equilibrium price using the equations themselves. Let's review what market equilibrium is. In a market for a particular good, equilibrium is achieved when demand equals supply. At equilibrium price, at PE, quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. Knowing the definition of equilibrium, we can pretty much figure out how to calculate equilibrium price. All we have to do is set the demand and the supply equations equal to each other and calculate the price at which the two are equal. Let's do that now. We know that the demand for beef is represented by the equation 180 minus 25p and that the supply of beef is represented by the equation minus 40 plus 30p. All we have to do now is solve for p in this equation and we will know at which price the two are equal to each other. Let's do that now. Sure enough, it turns out that the equilibrium price of beef is exactly $4. I did this by setting the demand and supply equations equal to each other and solving for P. All we have left to do is to determine the equilibrium quantity. And all we need to do in order to figure out what the equilibrium quantity is, is plug the price into either the demand and or the supply equation. We'll start with the demand equation. The quantity demanded at a price of 4 is QD equals 180 minus 25 times 4, which as predicted equals 80. So the quantity demanded at the equilibrium price is 80. Let's go ahead and check by plugging the price of $4 into our supply equation. QS equals negative 40 plus 30 times 4. QS equals 80. Sure enough, the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded at a price of $4 are equal to one another. 
this confirms that $4 is in fact our equilibrium price and 80 is in fact our equilibrium quantity. So in this video we have shown how to calculate equilibrium price and quantity by setting the demand and supply equations equal to one another and solving for P. Then once you have the equilibrium price you simply plug it into either the demand or the supply equation or even better into both to determine the equilibrium quantity.